checks in as an extra receiver. Mallett with an empty backfield, pump fakes. That pulls it down and throws across the ball game. Now they've got a third and ten. Mallett in the gun. Three-man rush, and they get close. He fires. This one's low. Pistol set here. It'll be Nile Davis, his first carry. Nice rush by Nile Davis. Back to an eye backfield. Kobe Hamilton in motion. He hasn't caught a ball yet. And a quick draw to Davis. Nile Davis, another dozen. Let's get the view from our Direct TV Ultimate Picture Cam. Well, Arkansas doesn't play a fullback too much, but Van Steuben, number 44, is going to lead this in, get a nice block on Brian Roll, the leading tackler for Ohio State. And I'll tell you what, that, that's a, a take. At the 47-yard line, second down and two. You can do a lot with a play like this. But they'll keep it on the ground to get the first down, and he got it, and plenty more. Here it's number six and number eight. And number eight's trailing by a touchdown. Mallet. Going long. Hamilton had a hand on it, but nice coverage for him. Here's Davis on the ground, out almost to midfield. For the Buckeyes. Third down and six for Arkansas. Mallet. There's movement on the left side of the line. For the Buckeyes. Third down and six for Arkansas. Mallet. There's movement on the left side of the line. It's going to be five more yards. Oh, sorry. Number 65 offense. Five yards. Still third down. Demarcus Love trying to get in his stance. Got there too early. Now he was out there going to block on Cameron Hayward, who has had a pretty active first quarter so far. One, two new guys in this third down and long situation for Ohio State. Third time. Arkansas has been a third and long already. Mallet fires, and they got this one. Able to make the stop. Back to Davis. This time, dropped for a loss by Cameron Hayward. You know, a lot of people think, well, did Cameron Hayward have as good a year this year as last year? Maybe not statistically, but when you talk to the Ohio State coaches, they say, yeah, every bit is good. And uh, the thing that makes him unique is he's big and strong enough to move inside and play defensive tackle, but he also is quick and athletic enough to move outside and rush the passer as a defensive end. So his versatility, a big key for this Buckeye defense. Razorbacks picked up a third and long. Let's see if they can pick up a third and three to keep their drive moving. On the ground, short of the first down, two-yard gain by Davis. Seventh play of the drive. Razorbacks were eight out of 17 of their fourth down conversions this year. They're going to throw. Mallet fires. It's knocked down by Nathan Williams. Big play by Williams. The other defensive end on the opposite side from Hayward. So a fourth down fails for the Razorbacks. They trail by a touchdown, and the Buckeyes will have the ball back courtesy of this play when we come back. The All-State Sugar Bowl from New Orleans sold out Superdome tonight in Arkansas and Ohio State. As they say, upon further review, it was Cameron yeah. Hayward who knocked that pass down Yeah, we, Ryan Mallets. We both thought it was Nathan Williams, but Cameron Howard is right here, and he's going to just come on an inside rush. He's going to get held and everything, but still has the awareness and the vision to see Mallet load up and get his hands on the football. Gives Oops. it back to his offense. Got a first down at 20 after the holding call. Empty backfield. Mallet quick throw, got it to Jarius Wright, and he's all the way to midfield. Davis hitting the backfield and dropped by Cameron Hayward again. Well, Cameron Hayward is playing, he's playing like a man. <laughs> Garrick McGee, the offensive coordinator for Arkansas, said he's a real guy. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the best way to describe him. And uh, he is, he has come to play tonight. Cameron, of course, his daddy played right here in the Superdome. The late Ironhead, Craig Ironhead Hayward, played for the Saints before moving to Atlanta to play for the Falcons. And that's where Cameron became a star at Peachtree Ridge High School in Swanee, Georgia. There's his daddy. First down, Davis on a run. And he's stopped by Cameron Hayward again, a loss of a yard. Speaking of our cameraman, our prayers, buddy. 
Second down 11. Malik has to wait too long. And the ball came out at the end, but it's covered by one of his linemen. Second sack of the game for Ohio State. And now Mallett and Cameron Hayward are getting a little bit of a WWE match going on. Well, they're having, uh, they're having a real difficult time with Cameron Hayward. Dexter Larimore that time was the first guy to get there, and I think hit Mallett, knocked the ball loose. Another third and very long, and I, I really think the difference in this game so far, we talked about pass rush being critical for both teams, but it had to be different. Ohio State's pass rush on Ryan Mallett has been much more useful with this defensive front, too. They have really made him uncomfortable when he drops the throw. Hayward, bull rushing, almost got him again. He flared it out there to Davis. Boy, if Cameron Hayward's got a bad left elbow, a lot of guys would like to have two of them because he just about pushed the offensive lineman right into yeah. Mallett's face before he got rid of the ball. Well, that's a, a freshman, the center, Travis, that they are right now in this game. It, it just makes everybody better. It makes your coverage better. Mallett waiting. Hayward had a hand on him. He threw complete, though, and got a first down. D.J. Williams is tight end. Mr. Dependability. And Razorbacks had their two timeouts remaining. Deep ball, and the uh, Arkansas has had a third and ten or longer tonight. They really need this one. Mallett steps up in the pocket, pressured and had to throw it with Cameron Hayward draped all over him again. Arkansas trying to score here before the break. Mallett flushed, throwing. Oh, and it's dropped again by Adams. Mallett under center here with Niall Davis behind him. Uh, first down at the 19-yard line. Play action. Mallett loads it. Fires incomplete. Hayward, at the end of that first half, came out and was getting his elbow looked to as a new wrap. A little bit of a brace on that left elbow. Davis up the middle. And hit right. That balance. They give it to Davis. And he's almost into the second. And Arkansas trying to gear up their offense. Mallet rolling to now Cameron Hayward was on the he was on the sideline getting a break and his first play back in he's mixing it up again and he is uh, got a little bit going on after the play with Ryan Mallet talking with the umpire about being held well yeah, I think what's happening though well, there it is again <laughs> oh, giving them the business a little bit down there at the end of the play in field goals. And Ohio State made them earn them 13 plays and 11 plays the last two times they had the ball. But they're back to within a two-score game, and they keep it on the ground with Niall Davis. Well, very, very smart to keep it on the ground. They only had third and eight. Here. Mallet, slip screen, low delivery. Adams at the line of scrimmage. That's it. Cameron Hayward at the Ohio State 47. Here's a stretch play. Davis trying to follow his blockers, and he's doing a good job of it, isn't he? Niall Davis, nice run. Mallet comes up to the line and back pedals into the shotgun. The throw complete to DJ Williams. Backfield with Stuman, the big fullback in front of Niall Davis. Williams in motion on first down. Mallet. Comes back to his secondary receiver, and it's Stuman. Uh, like what's over here on the bench for Ohio State. All right, Holly, keep us posted. Second and six. Inside the Ohio State 35. Down 10. Arkansas trying to mount a rally. Cameron Hayward and Dexter Larimore have got Mallet. Well, you can play with walk-on defensive backs if you get a pass rush like that. Because no quarterback, even one as good as Ryan Mallett, doesn't have time to do anything. And he just manhandled the best offensive lineman up there for Arkansas, DeMarcus Love. First and ten, Niall Davis on the right side, maybe got a yard. Ross Holman made the tackle. True freshman safety in the ballgame right now against Ryan Mallett. 
Second down and nine. A long handoff. Davis trying the left side this time and a good open field stop. Cameron Hayward is on the inside right now, not on the outside. He's rushing over the right guard. Mallet flushed, pressured, throws high off the football. Instead, it's Arkansas at the 38 with a toss to Davis. Now Davis, nice cut back inside the 35. There's a penalty. I think they held Cameron Hayward. I think they're going to get Wade Grayson. Holding number 71. Ten yards from the previous spot. Still first down. 550 remaining. Arkansas trailing by five. Well, here it is. Wade Grayson, number 71, is going to try to block out on Cameron Hayward. And he's in position. He just can't get his hands outside. He's got to keep those hands inside. And Cameron Hayward does a nice job drawing the penalty. And that's a clear hole. That's about the only way they've been able to stop him tonight. First penalty of the half against Arkansas. Ronnie Wingo comes in as an extra receiver. There'll be five of them for Ryan Mallett, who pump fakes and comes back across the middle and almost. Mallett throws across the middle and another drop pass. Mallett fires across the middle. DJ Williams holds on at the 10 yard line. A minute four remaining. Arkansas out of timeouts. Second and 10 at the 18. Here comes a blitz. Has to throw in a hurry. It's picked off. That'll do it. The first turnover of the game comes with 58 seconds left. Solomon Thomas is one of those guys that is facing the suspension next year. He's not a starter, but he's in and pass situations. But instead of rushing the passer, he's going to drop out. They're going to blitz from here, and he's going to drop into coverage, a zone blitz, and get right in the way of the throw. Watch 98. Read it, step in front of the receiver, and make the biggest play of the game for the Ohio State defense. Trying to tuck it in there to Jarius Wright. And the defensive line that's raised havoc on Ryan Mallett's night all night long comes up with one more big play. And now all to Cameron Hayward really took over this game at times tonight. How do you describe his performance? Cameron Hayward is a special person first and a great football player second. Um, you know, he's just going to be great at the next level. But uh, this was a special night for him to you know, come down this direction where he's from, and his dad played here at the Saints, and uh, he'll remember this the rest of his life. Coach, and my last question, I know what you're... Falling on the ball, because they had balls slip away from him all night tonight, but that could have been the touchdown that would have won it for Arkansas. Cameron Hayward's 